How are you today? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm pretty good, thanks. You'll be starting on nucleic acids in class uh, soon, so I'm assuming you want to go through that today? Yes, please. Sounds yep. great. Okay, great. If you want to set our goal for today. Okay. Sound good? Yep, that sounds great. Let's try and solve this. DNA and RNA are polymers? They are polymers, exactly. Made up of repeating amino acids? So do you remember which type of um, molecule is made up of amino acids? So that would be proteins. Okay, proteins. Yes. And then... So they are, is it sugar phosphate strands? Does a sugar phosphate strand make up um, an entire DNA or is there something else that's also in DNA? Something else. Yeah. The, the strand. So if I just bring back the diagram for a second. So we have, so this here is the sugar phosphate backbone. Uh -huh. This one here is a nitrogenous base. Together uh -huh. in DNA, we have what is called complementary pairing complementary base pairing and so these two base um, these two bases pair together so this is what we would call a base pair so That's in right. a DNA molecule we have a sugar phosphate backbone and we have base pairs so do you think it's the same base pairs that are repeating over and over no no so something one structure is specifically repeating multiple times okay so then it's the nucleotides? Yes, exactly. Okay. And then the molecules contain uh, two strands. Exactly. Which are intertwined and composed of a phosphate sugar. Yep, that's right. Exactly uh, right. Let's turn to our learning reflection. Uh, so what are some of the things you've learned today? Um, I learned about the, the nucleic acids, nitrogenous bases, and the difference between the DNA and RNA, uh, double-stranded helix and single-stranded. Any questions on what we've gone through? Um, no, I think it's making sense now. Very okay. helpful. Yeah, great. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much. Yes.